and welcome back to um this game. Tell the rise. Let's watch a. Uh, blazing swords turned out yes. to be even stronger than I expected. <sighs> With that much sheer power, elemental types are hardly a concern anymore. You can bring practically any foe down to their knees in a flash. Don't count on me being able to pull off another Gates of Fire. That only happened because I had the help of that spirit vessel monster, too. Still, you did defeat Balsef with it, which means it can also take down the other lords. That's enough for me. Besides, if it was any stronger, your body wouldn't be able to handle it. Have you forgotten what happened after we finished off Balsef? No. But aren't you scared of having that much power inside of you? Even a little? Why would I be? Power provides opportunity. You don't expect me to simply throw it away, do you? No, I get it. It's a good ace to have up our sleeve, that's for sure. I'll make the most of it. Well, as much as I can without becoming charcoal. I hate to become charcoal. Love to not become charcoal, frankly. If I'm being perfectly honest, charcoal is not my goal. Oh, hey. Oh, this is the blacksmith. Are you living here? Hey. Yeah. Um. Oh my god, the amount that this goes up. <laughs> it goes up by so much. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, I should probably get those, huh? Um... Oh, I don't even know. Okay. Well... Wait, okay, fine. I need, um, one hard bone and one stone fragment, so... Actually, I have an idea of where I can get those. Wait, what? Oh, you want me to, You need me to make those, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Good, good. Oh, I got SP for it. Oh wait, you got SP for quests? Shit, man, Is motherfucker. You're into? Yeah, these ingenious structures and gadgets never cease to amaze me. Check out these handle grooves. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be seeing here. I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Oh, you're a swordman. Sword, you're a sword guy, is what I mean. A swordman is a person whose whose craft is the sword. Well, a sword guy. Happened. Oh. <clears throat> yes. Nice. Uh, those golems. Mm. Yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. Got it. Yes. Yeah, I actually want that one. I actually want this quest because it gets me my new sword. Um, I don't know where to go for it. Quite three times stone fragments. Christ. Okay, man. Chill out. Wow, there's a lot of quests here. <laughs> Whoa, you're the red in the help liberate uh, Calaglia, aren't you? What? So what if I am? <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, really sudden. Mm -hmm. Like everyone else. <sighs> mm-hmm. I thought my has no personality. Okay. Now that Calaglia is free, old rags, sure. What's all you opinion on what I can do is now offensive. I like your attitude. I know a guy who could stand and take a page. What? I'm not so anyway, sure. Anyway, what sort of outfit do you think would look good to me? Any general ideas? Um, not, not something that says money. No. Just regular clothing, wow. man. <sighs> Makes sense. I don't know anything. I keep it simple. Look for basics. Sure. John, the fashion critic. What? What do you mean? 
This is, is this an active quest? Wait for the young man to pick out some clothes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, just gotta go and find it. Okay. Okay, you're just gonna... Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. We don't... He's not doing anything. Um... <laughs> okay. How do I pull up my quest log? Uh, is it in my field gun? Activity records. Yes? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Um... Okay, so this is 12,000. It's probably stronger than I... It's probably still stronger than me. Um, does this... Does this put them on the map? Oops. Um... Well, it won't be... It won't be on this map. Oh, right here. Pepper... Oh, you need me to go through the gate. Okay. I didn't realize there's so many injured. Yeah. Hmm? After she finished patching you up, she was kind enough to. Well, since so she's done more than enough. Aw, uh, that's nice. What? I just figured we're back on your feet soon we can go in. <laughs> you can use your healing arts to treat and injure people you find in the travels. Doing something on your ward in turn to heal injured person, approach them, press to spend CP to do the astral art. Okay. Cool. Shion. Let's see. Why do you keep people at arm's length? <laughs> You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Like with Tilsa just now. You can see the Why thing through my... accept her gratitude? That's fun. Our interests just happen to overlap. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the lords. See? That's what I mean! <laughs> you want to defeat the Lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. <sighs> You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the Blazing Sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. But I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the Blazing Sword. me like that <laughs> if you get any closer you're going to set off my thorns you know I was just trying to compliment you oh you're doing a weird job bud were? <laughs> what now Sion your thorns it's okay I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Core. Thank you, Xion, for everything. 
Now let's go check out those gates of fire. <sighs> really? I swear. I don't get her. Bad for the heart. I don't get. There's there's something I'm missing. There's like at least two parts that I'm missing. I think. <clears throat> I'm dying to know what they are. I want to know. I want to know what love is. Off we go. Okay. 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 I don't see any soldiers or their pet zoogles. Just strays roaming around. They must have split once Balsef kicked the bucket and they had nobody left to obey. Balsephiroth. Balsephiroth. Not this way, I guess. not down huh? oh oh I know okay oh shit let's dispose of the trash here I come you're, mine. you're finished demon pack come and face me well we're on the home stretch now don't take your eyes off the prize I'm quite aware without you reminding me. Sonic Thrust! Demon Fang! You're mine! Go. It's over! I'm only getting started! Demon Fang. Barely a blip on our radar. Um, this way. Oops. Going up to it? monster that appeared from the spirit vessel and the power inside the blazing sword they're both born of the same thing it's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying danans i suppose so and it was the danans who gave their lives for today their power after all this time, is what finally destroyed Balsif and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I wager they don't give it back, right? <laughs> what? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? 
How am I supposed to know? My memory's a complete blank, remember? <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any... She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately? We're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies here, then... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? Yeah, he's back in Mosgul. If anyone can help us, it's him. In that case, would you mind asking for us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. Where's my... Oh. Oh, what's up? Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's easier. Okay, I'm gonna turn phase cam off, y'all. Um... Oh, it was giving me a headache. Wow, okay. <sighs> yeah, hold on. There we what go. That girl's deal is. Never imagined anyone would ever come from outside the walls of Calaglia. It's really not that big of a deal. There are more realms out there than just Calaglia, you know. Maybe it sounds normal to you, but I've been behind those walls for as long as I can remember. Of course I knew there was more out there. But it sure didn't feel like it when unscalable walls are trapping oh, you. Oh, I see time. I hate to burst your bubble, but the rest of Dana isn't much better. The world's full of lords who are just as bad as Balsef. I know. That girl must have had her reasons for coming over to our territory. Even so, it's nice to see there really is life beyond the walls of Calaglia. It might not mean much to you, but that's reason enough for me to be happy. Mm, okay, no, sorry, I can't do I'm gonna, um, give myself a real headache. Okay, um, I'm gonna pause it here, and then next episode, we're gonna go for 40 minutes, and I'm just, or not next, next episode, next recording, I'll go for 40 minutes, and I'll just append it here, so you won't see the difference, except I just won't be here. Um, yeah, okay. I'm not even signing off, then. I'll just see you soon. Thank you. Hello, um, continuing this episode, because I did not finish an episode last time, um, I don't know what this symbol's about, mm. okay, um, yeah, I, uh, was not feeling so hot at the end of the last episode, I was just like, really gonna, really out of it, <laughs> so, yeah, and I don't really remember what we were doing, so let's go to the uh, field guide. Activity record. Um, new arms requiring three stone fragment. Okay. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, I don't remember how to. Wait, yeah, what's our what's our health at? Oh, I'm, I'm full enough. Okay. Um. Let's do those side quests. So, I think this way is where I want to go. I want to look for the. I need to like find the stone guy. Um, this is where I think the fragment stuff is. We've reached our destination. Oh. So I just gotta look for big stoneman, Flamio stoneman. Um. Yeah, I had a nice, um, <clears throat> I took yesterday off. Yesterday I, um, 
Oh, here he is. Hey, look. Yesterday I was meant to, um... Um... We did it. This should make for some good weapon craft. <clears throat> oh, we did it. We did it, did it. Okay. Oops. Um, yeah, yesterday I was supposed to uh, do my record uh, comrades, but um, um, one of the people was, were not feeling well, so we didn't do that. So instead, um, I basically just took a rest day. I finished um I finished the second of the um We've reached our Arcady Empire books. Um the sequel to a memory called Empire, uh, the Desolation called called Peace. Um which is exciting. Uh it was a good I had a good time. Uh we're not gonna get too much into that. It's not a not a podcast or not a book review podcast. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Um is it this guy? Is this guy? No. Uh, I don't, I don't remember what the guy is. Um, but yeah, I, um, I do, I will talk about how much I'm enjoying reading again. I, uh, I didn't read for like three months, and I didn't sight read for an extremely long time. Um, and audiobooks. Yes! How's this? Very nice! Uh, we have some fun weapons, Crimson Crows, uh, Yes! Kind of sure. <laughs> um was complete wait did I not get to keep the, the stuff so different materials produce different weapons did the wait did the blacksmith gain like get stronger or did nothing Each happen was it literally just for the we points should probably move on craft a weapon. There's no new items here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I actually wanted to know what was in that, though. That uh, needs uh, hard bone. Okay. But she needs stone fragments. Hmm. Okay. Well. Come to think of it, what's my sword made of? What material would it make sense with? Claws? Fangs? In one ear and out the other. That's funny. Um. Yeah, it's nice to read books again. Um. Also nice to play this game. I have been looking forward to it uh, very much. Well, I've really been looking forward to it since I finished Symphonia, but also I've been looking forward to it since uh, for a while. Oh, oh shit, yeah, okay. Um, uh, increase near death element. And it's max AG, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so we still need some, some time for that one. Uh, what about her? How is she doing? Uh, Lunar Blast, increased art casting resilience, that's that's pretty good. Uh, ailment toxicity, ailment bonus damage, near death, elemental attack. KO prevention, oh, I'll just do one HP reading one time when taking attack, you otherwise not going to KO you. Uh, uh, Gemini Aqua. Hmm. No, nothing quite catching my fancy there. Um, let's see what else we got for the subquest. We got She on the Fashion Critic uh, and the Great Zubal Hunt. Okay. So, not a lot of, not a lot of side quests. Um, let's see if this man changed his fashion. I don't think he would, right? Mm hmm. Nope. He's just, he's just gonna eventually do it. Okay, dokie. Okay. So, then, uh, fuck. Find Doc. Okay. Doc would be... Uh, is he on mine? Um, okay. That's cool. Okay. Well, easy. Well, easy to get there. so quiet from now on no one is going to be whipped or killed here ever again 
Ich hab's aber. Hey there, Doc. Hm? Who are you? It's me, Iron Mask. For these days I go by Alfin. Oh my god, he has to you. Remembered my name. Alfin? I heard that was the guy who brought down Balsif. Wait. You're telling me you're the liberator of Calaglia? Our own Iron Mask? Of all the people. I told you, I'm Alfin now. Even so, that's no small feat you've accomplished. And you managed to get your face back, too. That woman with you, the Renin? You know about her. Only what I've heard from rumors. I wasn't sure I believed it. But now I suppose I must. Doc, thank you. You sure you should be saying that to- I'm not saying it to any old Renin. I'm saying it to you, young lady. Any old Renin. Any Renin in a storm. In my interests as well. Of course, I would imagine as much. But that doesn't change the end result. The two of you defeated Balsef, and now all of us are free. That is a fact. Thanks, Doc. I should be the one thanking you. I'll never be able to repay what you two have done. Anyway, I'm guessing you didn't come here just to catch up. Uh, right. We need your advice. We found a girl who's collapsed from exhaustion, and she needs medicine. Do you know anything that could help? Hmm. If she's that weak, she may need a nutritional boost. The herbs I have here won't be enough. Oh! Have you tried searching Kirt Garrison? No. We passed it on our way here, but... With all the Renin soldiers gone, that place should be empty now. If we're lucky, maybe they left something you can use. So the fast travel isn't diegetic, because he said they passed through there. Which means they didn't just teleport. Good idea. We'll take a look. Kier Garrison. If I'm not mistaken, that's located off to the side of the railroad tracks. Wherever it is, just make it quick. Looking at the internet while I wait. Nothing's happening on this side of the gate. Do I? I guess I am. Getting thanked for everything by someone I actually know? It made it really hit home that we made a difference. That guy's a strange one, though. Doc? I don't think he's that odd. He is, though. He thanked me, a Renan, for helping. Despite everything my people have put him through over the years. He's free now. He doesn't have to act nice around my kind. He's not acting. He means it. And like he said before, he was thanking you as an individual, Xion. Not just some Renan. That's what makes it so strange. Would you have preferred he yelled and threw rocks at you? I'm not saying that. It's just hard for me to understand him. <sighs> okay, off we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Will, will the map give me... Um, where I need to go. Okay, let's try this way. Oh. Actually, no, this looks wrong, huh? Uh. Hmm. No, doesn't look like that. Mm. Wait. Oops. There. Uh, I guess I do have to go the other way then. Oh. Oh, wait. That's what I do. Oh, cool. You think it might be useful? We should try it and see how it turns out. Huh. 
Bye, doggy. Bye. No, don't fight me. I'm just a humble traveler. No, do not fight me. Here. <clears throat> this chest, it looks like. Nope. Scrap me. Okay, here. Think this is it? How would I know? It matches the description we were given, at least. No use standing around here hemming and hawing. Let's take it back and see. I hope you're right. There's no way I'm coming all the way back here. Just to be safe, I think before we head back to Ulzebek, we should maybe have Doc double-check this is the right stuff. All right, but let's make it quick. Is it because of the dogs? <clears throat> no, I think there's gonna be a cutscene, right? Alright, fair enough. It's not that far. Oh, I forgot we can run. There's no stamina consumption, it looks like. I didn't look like it was a cutscene reason, maybe I was just in combat. Did you find anything useful? We think this might work, but we wanted you to take a look at it first. Let's see. Ah, this stuff. Yes, this'll work. I'd hurry over and give it to the girl right away. Right, then we'll do that now. Say, Iron Mask. No, sorry. It's Elfin now, right? Are you and that young ally. planning to stick together moving forward? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm, I see. You know, I think things just might be starting to change. What do you mean? I'm not sure of that myself. But I feel like after being stalled for a long time, the gears of progress are finally starting to turn again. I imagine people are going to have things to say about the two of you. But you simply keep doing what you feel is right. If you ever get tired and need to rest, feel free to come back here. Until then, take care of yourself. Thanks, Doc. Okay, wait, what? Um, all my fast travel locations are locked out? Okay. Maybe this is the cutscene part. <clears throat> I don't okay, off we go. Sorry, I saw a trending headline. About Megan Fox. I'm just like, just let her, let her be. Let her live her life. Though I haven't opened the headline, so I don't know, maybe something new happened and I have to learn my error of my ways. But, got reaction, just let it go. I don't care about this. I do not care about this. Hello, I'm back. I'm back from dock. Hickory dickory dock. Let's see what's going on. Is this what you asked for? Perfect. That'll do nicely. I had a feeling you'd come through for us. Well, you know With I'm this, trying. The little one yeah, should be was... right as rain in no time. Right as rain. Wrong as stunlight. I can't believe it. 
Not often we get visitors from Cislodia around here. Cislodia? Calaglia's neighbor. One of the five realms. What with that wall in the way, I guess it's not surprising. But I've never actually met someone from the outside world before. Up till now, the only time the gates ever opened was to let Renan convoy units in and out. Mm. No one ever thought to stow away and hitch a ride out? This place might be a living hell, but when next door is a living hell too, you start thinking it doesn't matter much one way or the other. Yeah, so go. You're Rinwell, and you're the Cislodian resistance known as the Silver Swords. Your organization sent a group of you to establish contact, but you're the only one who made it through. That sound about right? Lately, our people's oppression has become more and more severe. When we heard rumors that you had staged a successful rebellion in Calaglia, we hoped that maybe you could help us. I mean, fair enough, man. sure gets around quickly, huh? If you ask me, it's awfully convenient she just happened to show up now. Certainly raises a lot of red flags. Please, I swear it's true! My people are dying! I risked my life trying to get here so I could find help. It's okay. You did well. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Hold on, Zephyr. You're not really thinking... We'll join her. Alfin, start getting ready. I let you use the Blazing Sword, and we work together to overthrow the Lords. That was the deal, remember? Wait, is that a Renan? What is this? Take it easy. It's complicated, but she's on our side. She helped to find some medicine for you. She did? But no, she's a... I, I can't believe it. The Renans from other realms could attack at any time. That's for you all to worry about. I've got bigger fish to fry. That Buddy. sword of Alfin's is our best weapon. We can't just go lending him to other lands. Even if you keep him here, the blade's as good as useless without me on board. And what makes you think I can't persuade you, Bright Eyes? What makes you think you can? Last I checked, you couldn't even touch me. Enough! Oh, that's a cool animation. Alfin. What it's cool all the time. I... I know all too well the hardships the slaves of this realm had to endure. That's why I took up the sword. To help them. If Danans are being oppressed in other realms, then... Then I have to help them too. We must save the Danimals. Nath has a point. We can't discount the possibility of further attacks. But now, our struggle has grown. It's become much larger than just liberating the people of Calaglia. We can't be in two places in one ever. Which means we're limited in our options. We play this the same way we did with Balsef. It would be, it would be okay if that no one ever said Balsef to me again. Frankly, it would be like fine. It would be a okay if nobody said Bolsif. No more Bolsif. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both, but it's too late for regrets. Jeez, really? You don't say. So, you're really going, huh? Just the four of you? I'm afraid so. Look after the place while we're away. <laughs> Always the smooth talker. We'll do what we can to hold down the fort. We've got the Renans to keep us busy. Good luck. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, don't go killing anyone without good reason. I get it. I'm not about to repeat what they did. Let's move, people. Zephyr has joined your party.
And the, the girl, right? Has the girl not joined the party? Wait, what? Oh. Zephyr joined the party, but not like for real, for real, huh? Um. Let me go that way. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Arbok. Okie dokie. <sighs> um, yeah, sure. Do you think we'll really be able to wipe the Renans off the face of Dana? Who said anything about doing that? But we have to in order to survive. Don't we? Now that you have the Blazing Sword, and have shown that we really can win this fight, do you really think we should go around killing every last Renan? But what else are we supposed to do? Say we go around killing Renans, so they don't kill us first. In turn, that'll just make more and more of them want to kill us. Where does it end, once you enter such a vicious cycle? Is that why you told Grenar not to kill any Renans without a good reason? I'm not saying we should forgive and forget what they've done to us. But we can't let ourselves be dragged down by our own hatred either. Hatred comes in many forms. And there's no one solution that will work in every situation. We have to keep searching for new ones if we're going to survive. It's a lifelong journey, finding the answers. That goes for you, too. You have to come up with your own answers. Oh, no one. Okay. Hey, Zephyr. Why do you keep fighting? What do you mean? Until I met you and the Crimson Crows, all the Danans I ever knew just accepted their lot in life as slaves. Hell, even I was like that. But all of you in the Resistance are different. Even when you have no hope of winning, you keep on fighting. Why is that? Come on, that's an easy one. I just refuse to live life as a slave, that's all. Better to die fighting for freedom than to live as a slave, huh? Let me ask you a question, Alfin. What does it mean to you to not be a slave any longer? I guess... it means living a life not being ruled by the Renans, right? But what about the Danans who died standing up to the Renans? Are they still slaves? <sighs> Would they be truly free if all they did was follow my orders and die without knowing what it was they were doing? But that's... Being a slave isn't just a position. It's also a state of mind. Don't become my slave, Alfin. Um, I, um... So, this is gonna be a very... Mias, uh... This is gonna be a very Mias thing, but... It's at the back. We're going to run through this. What's that over there? Some kind of castle? Oh shit. One that belongs to a different lord than Balsef. Right. That makes sense. You That's cool. Five of them in all, right? Right. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. Rinwell, right? It's nice to meet you. Does that little white animal follow you everywhere? He's not a little white animal. His name's Hoodle. His name is Hoodle. Normally I don't pick on the weak. Hear me! Imagine taunting a fucking bee. It's like so funny. Don't take your eyes off the prize. So, one of the one of the big changes they've made to this game, um, is that they changed the um. Everything's <clears throat> So usually, excuse me. By the way, I didn't mean to cough without muting. Um, so they changed the. They changed the system that is, um, that basically everything used to cost mana, um, mana, um, they changed that to be, um, the healing ones cost it, and everything else seems to just cost the, um, the regular points, uh, the, like the little three pips that just recharge, 
which is so much more um, flexible and interesting because it it makes the space um, where I can like where I can just keep doing moves and it makes everything look um, and feel more dynamic. Like it's like I'm not just like I'm not just playing an RPG um, in, like the traditional sense. I have um, I'm just able to able to like play almost like an action RPG or like an action um, oh, what do you call them? stylish action games or whatever like a Devil May Cry um, but still have that element of RPG like there's still the leveling up there's still the it's all that's Hoodle oh hold on Hoodle's here what's got you so worked up Hoodle is that does Hoodle help me find the other owls? Watch out! They know we're here! Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. They're nothing I haven't seen before. Yeah, I mean, same. I'll shoot them down, you finish them off. Got it? Shion, some hot girl shit is going on there for Shion. I love that for her. Um, Knock a flying enemy out of the sky, and it's as good as done. Right. See what I can do. Well, return to the owl cutscene. What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? Oh, this is canonically the first time we've seen an owl. Interesting. What? It's nothing. Owls we found are non diegetic. because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward. Oh my god. Bud. Bud. <laughs> it's gonna be probably a few more hours of this. Got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so? <laughs> oh, he's so much smaller. Hoodle is so small. Hoodle. Hoodle. They look like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. Oh. He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Buddy. We just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Oh. Hoodle. My baby. Pathetic. What? The fuck? The fuck's up with you, mate? I don't recall allowing you to just scream pathetic at me. Zephyr? You're right, mate. You okay, bro? Anyway, um, yeah, it makes the combat, like, it lets me do a lot more with the combat than I would normally do. Um, because <clears throat> normally you'd be bound to, you'd be bound to, like, the chet and the, the bonfire, that point of bonfire, you'd be bound to, like, I hate camping out. Who the fuck is that? Um, normally you'd be bound to the bonfire or the the healing point, and you'd you'd have to go and buy more stuff and come back, and it's like it's like a whole ordeal to grind, right? But now I can just do it if I wanted to. Oh, wait, I need to talk to whoever the fuck this is. Oh, you better make sure you're prepared. Oh, you're a shop. Wait, what can you forge? What are you forging? Oh, crude sword, long sword. I see, I see. Oh, strong sword. Indeed, indeed. I can get my stone fragments, nor can I. The canny. Uh, yeah, fuck it. No, whatever. Oh. I'm not gonna sell my longsword in case I can, um. 
Can I stuff with it? I don't own any life bottles. How many, much money do I have? Okay, we're gonna not zero out, but... Actually, the apple dills are really expensive, so maybe we will zero out. Uh, uh no, let's leave this with 1400. That'll work. Okay. Okay. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. <laughs> fair enough. I mean, fair enough. Um, uh, it's 32. Okay. Go this one. I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Shion. What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... How do I put it? Precise. It's not like I'm that good of a... <sighs> Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemies' movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. It's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. Um... I'm trying to... I got recommended a book, and I don't remember what book it was. So uh, wait. Um, yeah, anyway, sorry, uh, oh, wait, do the owls always wear the thing that they're going to give me? Maybe. Wait, frame glasses. Uh, I'm surprised hmm. there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them are outfits um wait what do you look like with glasses on you can wear glasses um <laughs> okay so no huh you can wear the monocle though i Glasses on people is the thing. I think glasses are neat. I love glasses. Um, but it looks weird on her. It looks like I put glasses on her is the, th the problem here. If she had like a more glasses, glasses the outfit, maybe. Around than I thought. Um, what, how long are we running this one for? Uh, 30 minutes. Okay, so we should just bonfire. We'll get any cutscenes from the bonfire, and then we'll pick up after the bonfire next time in episode. Wow. Yeah. What are you staring for? Six. Do all Danon fighters look like you? What this getup? I pulled this number together from scrap and parts I salvaged throughout the years. Though now I'm feeling self-conscious, seeing how put together you seem to be. Oh, oh no! I, I was just curious. Did you fortify your right side more because that's your dominant side? Partly, but mostly because my body's a little worse for wear after all these years fighting. That makes sense. So you take extra care to protect your dominant side with more armor. Smart. Is fighting all you think about? Oh, I thought I was going to get a text box there. <laughs> um... Oh, this book's only available through the virtual library? Oh well. Um, okay, so as long as we get any more cutscenes, uh, just rest. Go for resting. Mm, what do you want for next time? XP boost large. I mean, HP after battle. 
Let's just do XP boost large. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. Okay. Oops. So, we're going to end that here. Um, thanks for joining me um, on these two separate days of recording, just while. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining me. As always, you can find me on Twitter at WinJamma. You can find the actual Play podcast I co-host on Twitter at Comrades with a Q or Comrades.com, also with a Q. You can find the actual Play podcast I'm in on Twitter at AppaPapPod, A-A-P-A-P-A-P-Pod. And as always, you can find me here at TheHereticRoad.com. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.